Margot, Arthur the Best? Yes, please. You don't happen to know where Arthur Bain lives, do you? Well, you're not in the club, you mean? <laughs> no, I don't offhand. Come on the other side of Jacket, are you? You'll be in the book. Thanks. He's telling me he's at that cottage of his. Oh, is it? No, he's not slow, you know, or Arthur's got a trick or two. Right. Something wrong with Woodside, is it? It's not you, is it? <laughs> Well, there's no electricity, there's no gas, and there's no water. He wants 25 quid a week. Oh, dear. Says it's on account of the fishing. Ah, yes, I heard that before. They tell me it's condemned once, but, uh, I'll see you later. Well, Margot, you find him in there? Thanks. Thanks. No. I don't think I'll bother. Mugger! Oh, good morning, Mr. Payne. I got a bone to pick with you. Yeah? Well, you'd better come in and sit down then, hadn't you? That damned Indian's cleared out my cottage. Well, if it's cleared out, you've got nothing to worry about, have you? I said clear this house. There's nothing left. You're taking all you could, Father Rubbish. What, me? Well, you know what I mean? There's some damn good stuff there, and now it's gone. Well, you can't blame me. I gave you the facts, you chose to ignore them. I asked you to do a job for me and you let me down. Oh, hold on, hold on. You better get your facts straight. Well, I'm talking about facts. Facts, not all a woolly-minded prejudice. Mr. Bain, I told you in this office on Saturday afternoon what I'd learned about your client, and it had nothing to do with prejudice. Now, get that clear. If you don't want to listen to bad news, that's your affair. But don't turn on me when you get your fingers burned. You can't ask questions. You told me you had nothing on him. That was the word you used, nothing. But that was before I spoke to him in the pub. It's a damn straight way of going about it, that's all I can say. If you base your judgment on what a fellow comes up to you and tells you about himself. All right, you've had your say. If you don't like the quality of the work, don't pay for it. I'll not be obligated to you, my friend. I'll pay. But not for this. My name's been used as a reference by that fellow to half a town. I value my good name. Oh, come off it. You were going to take him for a mug. 25 quid a week for a place full of dry rot. Instead of which you made a mug out of his milk. Oh, you just repeat that in front of another person. I have the law on you. Hello, Auntie. Hello, Auntie. Did I interrupt? No, no, it's all right. You come and sit down, Miss Bates. There we are. Did you look upstairs? Did he? Now, sit down a little while, you. It's you. There we are. Oh, is that it? That's it. I'm grateful to you, Martha. Does it matter? No. I'll just take it and pay. Well, I don't think we'll bother him, do you? Oh, you are kind. <laughs> My pleasure, Miss Bates. Thank you, please. Thank somebody, please. Thank you. 